Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and setup video of my latest purchase. This is the Birdhouse HD camera from the company Goldbong. It says Green Backyard on the box. I actually bought it off this company's website. I'll put the website in this video. I've never heard of the company before. It's goldbong.com. I came across this item because it showed up as a Facebook ad on my Facebook. Never heard of them. If you've watched my videos in the past, you know that I have a birdhouse and I've attempted to put a blink camera in it before. But unfortunately, I use a Gilbertson Blue Birdhouse. By the time you put your blink camera in, it kind of restricts the entry hole that the birds go in. So I haven't had much luck. If I take the camera out, I get birds that use it every season. The minute I put the camera in, they don't like this blank camera in there. So I went ahead and bought this bird camera and I went ahead and bought the birdhouse from the company as well. You don't have to buy the birdhouse. You could just buy the camera and install it in yours. And I might do that with my Gilbertson house, but I went ahead and purchased theirs because I liked a couple things about it. It's a solid wood birdhouse. The thing I liked is that they've got a slot cut into the side of it for you to run the cord from the camera. This is a corded camera. It's not a cordless camera, so you're gonna to have to be able to run the cord through there. They also have a plastic opening where you can look and see what's going on in the birdhouse without actually opening up the front. But, pretty standard wood birdhouse. You can open it as well. It's a lot roomier than my Gilbertson Blue Birdhouse. So in terms of putting a camera in it, I think it's gonna be a better setup. That's a quick look at the birdhouse. The one thing I will mention that I did like is they send it with the predator guard on that's the one and a half inch uh, hole that you're gonna need if you're trying to do bluebirds, but they also send you extra predator guards, a one and a fourth inch uh, opening, as well as a one and an eighth inch opening. So if you're trying to attract wrens or chickadees, something that uses a smaller hole, all you gotta do is take the predator guard off and put one of these on and uh, you can do that. It's kind of a multi-purpose birdhouse. They also send you some screws to mount it with. So that's a quick look at the birdhouse. Let's take a look at the camera. So you're gonna get a power cord. As I mentioned, it is a corded camera. Obviously the instruction manual. A really long cord. So even though it's corded, I'm not too worried about it because I've got a lot of slack here to run the cord from my house to the bird camera. And then last but not least, the camera itself. The camera feels really well made. I mean, it is heavy. It's in a solid metal housing. And if you look at the size of it versus the Blink camera, I mean, it's considerably smaller. So I think it's gonna be a lot better than a birdhouse. Aside from that, they send you a mounting bracket that you can use to mount the camera in your house. And then they send you some 3M tape in case you need to tape the cord down at any point when you're doing the install. So that's a quick look at all the items that we get. As with all my purchases, I bought this item with my own money. I'm just doing this video in case there's somebody out there who comes across this item, is thinking about buying it, wants to get an idea of what the quality is. I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. We're gonna put it out. We're gonna see if we can get any birds to take action on the house, and then we'll see what the camera footage looks like. Thanks for watching.